Morning everyone. Looks like we're gonna have another good day. Uh, sun's supposed to be shining all day. It's supposed to be about 65 degrees, so it should be real comfortable when working. We only have, oh, I don't know, probably 12 to 15 uh, lawns to do today, but they're out in the country and they're scattered out, and we have some of them big ones. So it's gonna take us a little bit today. We should be able to go through them pretty quick, and I'm not sure how many we're gonna skip over. A couple of them big ones we might be able to skip over just because the grass is slowing down so much. And uh, it's uh, mostly going to be, or it's going to be a lot of drive time today, so that unfortunately makes us a little bit more tired because of the drive time in between the yards. If you're doing yards one right after another, you don't really get tired, but if you have like a 15 or 20 minute drive in between yards, you start getting tired really fast. So, I said before, next year we won't be dealing with, these, with this whole area, and it's uh, going to make it a lot easier on us. We were going over to figures last night, we're going to be eliminating about 20 yards altogether, and it should save us a day and a half. And the difference isn't going to be that much for money wise because we're going to save at least $100 just in gas and then the rest of our time and everything trying to squeeze everything in. And if it does rain, we have to skip over a bunch of yards anyhow, so we're not really gaining anything one way or another. So, And I'm sure in the spring, we're going to be uh, picking up some more yards in our local area here, close to our house. So it should not be a problem. Everything should work out pretty good. But, um, so I have to go to a chiropractor's appointment before we get started. And so we will see you at the next yard. Okay, we're, we're in uh, the gated community that we cut on uh, Thursdays. and <clears throat> Drove a half hour down here cut one yard because the rest of them don't need to be cut and we wouldn't have cut that one yard except for the people insist on it being cut every week so we just cut it and so now we got 20 minutes to the next yard so it's just it gets it, if it wasn't for that one customer we wouldn't even be down here right now we'd be going every other week on this area here but because that one customer insists on every week we have to come down here so we're only going to have probably two more cuts here in this whole community and we're going to be done with this season here. So we don't do, well we just do that one cleanup that that uh, customer that insists on it being cut every week. But uh, once we're done with that, uh, we will be done here for, not for the season, but we'll just be done here. We will not be coming back next year. So we're going to eat a couple snacks on the way to the next yard and we'll, we'll see you at the next yard. Okay, since we've been skipping over so many yards and I'm not sure how many yards we're going to be cutting today, I figured I'd uh, get a little bit of video of uh, cutting our church here on the back side to uh, uh, give you an idea how massive this thing is here. So I'll set you up here so you can see us both cutting in this area. That is work. We don't cut this side all the time. This only gets cut about once every three weeks, so it takes a little bit to go over it. And Vicky's cutting it at uh, three inches right now, and this should be the last cut on this section for this season. Okay, so I am going to go all start cutting now, and after she gets out of this little section ship, I'll see both of us.
first section where Vicki and myself cut together and now she's going to go off and do the smaller areas and I'm going to do this other section. The problem we have is the sun is not a friend. Because this way you could, when you're coming from this direction, you can see where you were cutting. But when you come from the other direction, like you can see the lines, how kind of crooked they are. Of course, I was holding the camera, but you can't really tell where you're cutting at. So you got to kind of guess. And the reason why I cut the angle I am, because it, actually, it is the smoothest angle to cut in this whole yard. So, and it's so big, by the time you're done, you're hurting pretty good. So, I'm going to give you a view from this side. I'm gonna give you a little shot of what's up front there a little bit, but um, this yard is a battle from the beginning of the beginning of the season till the end of the season, just because of this big old huge field. The problem we have is is that part we're out there where you can see Vicky cutting. It's always wet because it's a ditch area and it just gets a lot of shade all the time. But uh, in, the su in the spring, we start cutting lengthways. And it looks really good, and it's you know we roll it every spring, just try to keep some of the bumps out of it. And then uh, as through the summer, we start changing our angle, just because uh, trying to get smoother and smoother. And by the end of the fall, we're at a kind of a long angle or a shorter angle. But um, you know, the lawn does turn out pretty nice. And this area right in here, where you can see the dark area. And coming back through here is always very rough no matter which angle you hit it it's always rough so you deal with just that little bit it doesn't matter what we do with it it's always rough but other than that it's, uh, it takes us a while so you figure there's uh, two zero turns here for about an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half something like that to cut this lawn so it's this and the one that Vicky's on right now I'll just have a suspension has a suspension kit under a seat versus the whole deluxe suspension seat so that one's a little rougher so we try to use that in the smaller areas so you don't go as fast and it's not as bad on you but it still beats you pretty good so I'll give you a shot up near the front there of me cutting and finishing up there and then uh, we'll uh, see what happens from there this is also something else we do we just kinda run the zero turn along the edge of the parking lot just to blow things off so you don't have to go out there and do that ourselves. It saves a little bit of time and you don't have to walk as much. Well, let's see how this works out. Six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. Oh, this new crazy mother... sidewalk going to the pavilion. I haven't edged it in a while so uh, 
get a good, I guess a good look at that. And there you go. We're done with this yard. We're going to be cutting this probably two or three more times. You don't think so, Vicky? V Vicky says one more time. How many times? One. She thinks one more time, but we'll see. If the weather keeps the way it is right now, you know, mid 60s, up near 70 sometimes, I think we might get a couple cuts out of her, but we'll see. But um, we're going to carry on and we will see you at the next yard. Okay, we're uh, leaving the countryside and heading back towards the house area there. We've been out here, I don't know how many, how many hours have we been out here, Vicki? It's, it's about two and a half hours. Been out here two and a half hours and we've cut three lawns. So it's not a good ratio on the lawn cutting for ending the season, but like I said, we're not going to be done. We're not going to be cutting air this much longer, so it will work out nice on this stupid area. Um, speed limit goes from 35, 45 to 55, back to 45 to 35. It's all over everywhere. So if you're not paying attention, you get a ticket through here. So, um, Anyhow, we're going to head back to town. And I don't know, we have a handful of yards to do. We'll probably do a couple uh, of the bigger ones for tomorrow that's near us, so we don't have to worry about them tomorrow. So we can take our time again tomorrow. So um, things are winding down fast for us. A lot faster than I was anticipating because we've been working so hard for so long and now it's just slowing down. So it's uh, kind of a good thing and a bad thing. So. But anyhow, um, well, I guess that's it for this area, but uh, we will see you at the next yard. Okay, we just got done with another crappy yard. Worst part about this one is uh, we have to push both the backyard, so you gotta be careful where you step, or else you step into dog messes uh, again. So I don't know why these people kind of pick up after the animals, but they can, so. Um, we just kind of work around it and do the best we can. And one thing with this, so it gets on your tires, it's not as bad as when the zero turn gets on their tires. So, but uh, anyhow, we're gonna move on to the next one. Uh, actually, the past two of them, we had to push them on. The next one, we got to push them all again too. So, and the one after that, I guess. Okay. So we got two more to push them. On, so we're gonna push through these, and then we'll be pretty close to being done after that. So we'll see you at the next yard. Okay, we are done for the evening. Uh, there was a yard that I forgot that a guy had uh, sent me a text message to come and cut the grass, so we just went out and finished it up. 
were there about an hour. It didn't take us all too bad. <sighs> Stupid thing. But uh, anyhow, uh, we just blew the leaves around, picked them up a little bit, and we're in and out in a little bit, about an hour or so. Um, this, this yard is for sale. This yard is for sale. This house is for sale, and we we're hoping it would sell before the cleanup. Because once the cleanup hits this yard, it's three hours to, for us to do the cleanup. So I am not sure. And don't they just lowered the price on it? So hopefully it does sell. We don't have to deal with it. So so everybody have a good evening, and we will see you at the next yard.